right, uh, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are here look with look at your camera challenge. <laughs> look, look at your camera challenge. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. As Magnus isn't looking at his camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see everybody uh, is uh, visible. We have a couple people in chat. Welcome, everybody. I am your host, Mousy, and we have from Platinum Heroes. We have Tacit. Well, basically, everybody's from Platinum Heroes <laughs> if we think about it, but <laughs> everybody has a different role. All representing right. <laughs> is the question. Yeah. yeah, representing the Platinum Heroes, actually. <laughs> we have Tacit. <laughs> okay, and we have. <laughs> Okay, you, you can you can say hi by the way. No. <laughs> He's up there. This is Tasset. Yeah. <laughs> that them here right, right, right below me over here. This is this, this right, young right gentleman. This you. is <laughs> right below me. We have representing Twisted Mice. It's Magnus. Okay, how how are you milking Tasset for content if he's below you? I don't know. Like it's yeah. We no no. You're below him. You're the bottom here. Yeah, we're we've been talking about like uh, milking people for content or milking everybody's content and stuff like that, and people were already like assuming bad stuff. So that that's the right way to start the podcast, I think. And, oh, and of Lord. course, yeah. And of course, in the bottom right, we have Enoch TV or Tim for mm -hmm. representing Platinum Esports, obviously. That's me and the boys. Mm -hmm. now let's move the chat over here there we go you know platinum esports was almost called platinum heroes once oh yeah once <laughs> well it, it only de it only depends on how technically you want to look into the legality platinum esports is a brand right the brand it's almost the almost called platinum anything. heroes well the company no. is that's different it, it, there's a lot of legality. Wait, you, you made wait you made a company called platinum heroes yes yeah, it's well, it's just, that's... <laughs> yeah Okay, so and then it has a brand underneath it. I see. All right. Uh, why don't you guys talk <laughs> a couple of sentences about the teams or yourself? Actually, I don't mind any any of that. All I think right. that's Pick the easiest start with. Get off. Okay, you can start since you're so enthusiastic, Magnet. And you were the last Me? one to join the voice chat. You were going to be the first one to be thrown under the bus. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, I guess uh, Twisted Minds obviously maybe the the one specifically pro team in the discussion here. Uh, obviously from Saudi investors, <laughs> uh, from Saudi investors featuring you know classic and uh, players known from Little Fairy. Uh, Little Fairy, the Chinese team that we uh, has I think Nice and Shameless and a few other players. Uh, but they also signed a new top Korean player. Uh, yeah, we have that which... that secret player. I, I even marked it here on the on this scene. Ah. Hmm. Which so. will be featured in the uh, upcoming WTL and EWC and everything. Uh, hmm. I think Twisted are uh, pro obviously the Code A favorite. I think everybody agrees on that. Uh, I think Twisted, if anything, have more to look to in Code S, uh, like playoffs runs and stuff. Okay. All right. That's possible. Since, uh, since we have someone else who really wanted to get a message through with some interesting signs, <laughs> then Tim, <laughs> please take, take it over. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, Farrell's back, by the way. Oh, he's back. We already talked about coming back. Um, but yeah, I'm Aaron. We got Platinum Esports here, which is you know mostly Platinum Heroes players, not entirely. We got a we got a fun little bow and on in there. <laughs> Keeping fun it spicy. Bow <laughs> hey, bow and on's gonna keep it spicy. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, 100 percent, hundred percent. Generally, we're just due to WTL rules. We need a second team, and you know. Might as well have some fun with it, and I think that our team actually has a pretty decent shot in Code A. Code S will be, hmm, but Code A, I think eh, we're not we're not too bad off. Yeah, I think having some kind of regular season, like re regular uh, long season uh, lower division uh, competition for up and coming players, like the ones in Platinum Esports, is really healthy for the scene. Obviously, Code A isn't really 
as regular as an as, as a 12 week WTL code S season, but it is as yeah. close as you can get for now. Yeah. Yeah. And when we knock you out, we take that code S spot, you know. <laughs> oh, oh god. Dream on. Hey guys. Oh, god. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Hello. Okay, we should have him back, and that means we're gonna have to. Give me a second to uh, sort my life out. Hang on. Hmm. All right. Welcome so... back, Feral. And we okay. have Feral as well. Now that means we gotta go back to the original stuff. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah, we're introducing our teams right now. Kind of giving away what we're doing. So I just finished. So now that you're here, that's you're you're next. Okay, just give me a second. Now we're gonna have Tacit yeah. for last. Sure. Uh, what that means? Well, I mean, he's got the fun announcement. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Feral. Yeah. Feral has a. Uh probably the strongest edition of berserker esports yet uh i'm, I'm, I'm really surprised he uh, managed to uh conjure such a powerful oh, yeah. team this time around it is a pretty cracked list yeah berserker probably the uh oh welcome feral hello uh, okay i'm gonna hello. pull put him on the screen I'm literally in the just having to sit upstairs uh, Doing that off of my phone and to grab some bits. Hang on. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're gonna enough. have a bit of a situation here because I couldn't actually salvage the part where we have the Berserker part, like the Berserker team on the screen as well, and it properly cut um, frame for, for Pharaoh, so it's gonna look a bit clunky, but it is what it is. Oh. Yeah. But the rest Fair is okay. Your phone sideways. Apologies, green, green. It's okay. It's, a, it's fine. Well, yeah. Why are you blue, Mousy? What do you mean, why I'm blue? Why am I blue? <laughs> you, oh, oh like, why am I blue? Because... You're matching your chair and the colors. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean... It's a lot color of... matching chair. There's there's a lot of uh, blue in my on my screen, so... In your blood. Yeah, in my <laughs> blood, yeah. Obviously. The my oxygen... Blood. No oxygen. <laughs> no oxygen. <laughs> Not at all. N nothing. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Then, Pharaoh, we would like to ask you to say a couple words about the team, the players, yourself, Your as, we, as we have okay. in late um, joining, representing Berserker Esports, of course. <clears throat> Well, yeah, so I haven't prepared anything at all, actually, so <clears throat> try and do this as quickly as possible and as painless as possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm Feral. I'm the, the founder and owner of Berserker Esports. So started out in 2019, I think, 2018, 2019. But it's a bit of a, bit of a sort of a, not something I wasn't take. I wasn't taking it particularly seriously, but sort of 50-50. And it kind of... Um, yeah, it did really well, actually. I was, I was always told, I was in another team and I was told, oh, don't bother setting up a, a clan because there's already too many clans out there and you'll never get any players. And, uh, you'll, you know, you'll have about three players and then you'll just shut down after six weeks and that'll be it. But, you know, I persisted and uh, sort of built built Berserker up from um, from what it was to having the pro team, which which we now have, which uh, where we have, we have Gung Fu Banda, uh, Battle B, Mixu, uh, Demaga, everyone knows Demaga, an absolute legend, um, uh, Foxer, and uh, and Papu. So uh, yeah, they're they're my uh, berserkers. I hope will uh, carry us uh, forward nicely in uh, WTL. Hopefully, we'll do a lot better than we did last year. Um, we were pretty fortunate to get into Code S uh, due to other teams dropping out, um, but it was a uh, Certainly a nice experience, an interesting experience. I got to play versus Hero as well. So I nearly beat him, nearly. <laughs> and uh, if only <clears throat> he ended up killing me with just one adept. Um, <laughs> the classic only you got one, your but... home server. <laughs> the, yeah, the one adept, uh, the small adept's meta. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it. So... That's pretty much where we are. We have quite a good community team. 
Uh, as you know, we we sort of run the Berserker Team League, or well, I own the Berserker Team League, and Tassad kindly uh, runs it as general manager. Um, and obviously, we you know we take part in that and uh, KTL and amongst other things. So uh, yeah, that's about all I can say really. I don't know what else. If there's anything else you want to know or have any other <laughs> any questions. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna have the question part from the chat at the end if there's gonna be any uh, but mm -hmm. I guess you you summarized everything up uh, quite fast and and quite nicely and we're gonna move on to the one team over there who doesn't have to worry about disqualifiers and doesn't have to worry even about <laughs> code day and now I have to I have to clarify something do we pronounce it tacit or tasad? Or... Uh, I said Tassad is correct. Okay, yeah. Tassad. Okay. I gotta you get used to it. Correct, again. Right? Yeah. <laughs> both yeah. are correct, because you also you also say Tassad, I guess. Yeah. yeah. It's I not mean... it's not from a language, right? Unless unless you count Kalani as a real not from any language. No, it's, it's just, just it's Tassadar, right? It's just a short form of Tassadar from the from the campaign. From the yeah. from the Protoss commander. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, so in the meantime, we kind of lost picture from the picture from uh, Pharaoh, but so well, you will be back. That's a little finicky. Okay. Okay. But yeah, but yeah, I am the team manager of Platinum Heroes, and for the next season in Code S, we actually have an alliance with with R8 with Kalosur, and we will play together in the, in the next season. And I'm looking forward to it, and I think we have quite a good chances. To to uh, to maybe even repeat the playoff performance again this year. Yeah, Looking at yeah. it, of course, the overall field seems to have weakened with many players joining joining single player teams because of the World Cup. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm just looking forward to enjoy the next two weeks as a as a viewer and see who is, and see who actually makes it to Kodesk. Can you finish? Yeah. Come on. I guess we have some some solid people on on uh, the hero squad, so you can also see it on the yeah. on the screen. Uh, hmm. Not sure why I managed to duplicate a Zerg logo over there next to Shadow, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Shadow is playing both races. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that was uh, for the template, or I was like uh, duplicating it for someone else and just forgot to I cut sing. it. Happens. Maybe you saw that was supposed to be Iba, who always likes switching ways. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. You'd wish Iba would uh, switch race when it's his EVZ. Not offline EVZ specifically. <laughs> yeah, good old Iba. <laughs> yep. Not old, definitely not old. It's true. Good oh, young Iba. Yeah. Good, good young Iba. That, Iba's that's like the eight one. years old. Iba <laughs> knows. <laughs> yeah okay well, hopefully so, he pops off a little bit this year <laughs> this season i'm pretty sure he will okay yeah, so I hope. You, you can see <laughs> i i think from my perspective i think uh the most worthy mentions uh for these these four teams would be actually i want to like i want magnif to to talk about one player specifically but or maybe, maybe i hope even it's not two. the secret player no, not not the secret player. No, no, no. It's not gonna be the secret player. Give me, give me the first clue. Let's hit, let's give more hints. Who could it be? Yeah. What race is he? Uh, no, Asian? We're, we're not. Asian, <laughs> Korean. Let's go. Uh, yeah, that's Feral. That's Feral Gunner. Uh, yeah, I'm signing Feral. So... No, uh, Gunner was asking, uh, who is the handsome guy in the bottom? And we were asking yeah, that. Yeah, definitely not Magna. <laughs> I am also in the bottom. <laughs> okay, so I think I think Art, the Polish Art, because we see Art on on the Platinum Esports roster as well. That is yeah. Russian Art. We have to, like, distinguish yeah. them. Uh, <laughs> like, we yeah. have... Yeah, it's it's a single cap yeah, capital R and, and like, you, full you caps. You can't tell the difference in this graphic? Like... Yeah, like... <laughs> I mean, it's actually visible, so... I was making sure yeah. that it's visible. And obviously, yes. obviously, Kelezer, Goblin, um, 
and probably Shadon. Nikit, Young Yakov, Nikorak, and, and Akron are also solid players in my opinion, but uh, the big guns yeah. are going to be the ones mentioned before. I guess I'm I'm not gonna mis be mistaken if we if I repeat right Battle B Demaga DNS Gung Fu Banda Mixu and I guess Foxer too he's uh, is an up and coming quite nice Terran yeah, player. Foxer's got power. So yeah, I I think there's a good mix on on the both on both teams. There's a good mix of like up and coming talent and established talent as well, like veterans and newcomers yeah. as well uh, alike. Mm -hmm. But now for for twisted minds, talk to me about uh, I guess Moko or Akiu, as is formerly known. Mm. Then uh, I'll ask about Akiu, Shameless as well. Akiu is well the one uh, well, one of the Zerg players in the team, of the few non Protoss players. <laughs> uh, he's not really meant you, to be a main lineup Korean player. Zerg. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, so really, I was gonna say like, oh, a few, uh, so there's one more, <laughs> and I see only one option there. <laughs> uh, well, we got him, uh, boys. <laughs> like like I was saying, Aku not really meant to be a main lineup player. He's gonna struggle a lot to be able to find even two or three matches to play in. Uh, but he is a very good sniper, at least I've heard from my co-managers from the Chinese side of the team, which is where Aku is coming from. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, put too many bets on him playing, but I wouldn't also completely disregard him. He, he's gonna have his sniper role sooner or later. Maybe, maybe I'll feel, him, you know, against uh, against Berserker to snipe uh, DNS on uh, on post youth. Or something <laughs> specifically, <laughs> okay. What? Whatever, hardly specific. You could actually snipe with this format, which you really can't, but any of course, it's not Walker, but yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that those are you like small hope details. I don't put myself down, on, you better <laughs> hope that I don't put yeah. myself back down on the roster again. Yeah, like he has no and, uh... shot if he ends up getting feral instead of DNS. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. And talk to me a bit about Shameless, because Shameless is is also quite a, a hot name in the scene right now. As far as yeah, I know, I know Wadi is. is like a really big fan of big Shameless, fan. and I'm I'm a big fan of Shameless yeah. as well. I like mm. how it plays. So. Yeah, yeah. He's also Anybody... really young, right? Yep, he is born two thousand and six. So, like, <laughs> we're not doing mats on stream. We're drunk, not doing mats on Six years. <laughs> Feral already been drinking for like twenty years before he was born. You know. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Feral my probably god. has older I'm bottles like, than him I'm... in 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 the cellar. <laughs> older bottles. I think, I think I've got. I think I've got a pair of socks that might be older than him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my oh no Sheesh. oh that that's a clip guys that's a clip <laughs> mm. uh, uh, yeah yeah it, we're farming it's, content uh, like uh, this is... the... <laughs> James I mean, I think i'm been... probably the older one here i would be surprised to sad i think you might be near my age um i am 28 uh, are we doing ages now <laughs> 28. I, 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 I 28, think. baby. <laughs> yeah. Wait, does Sada and I are the same age? Who's 28? Uh, me. The Sada. The Sada is 28. You're, you're 28, to start. Yes. Wow. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be 28 in, in a couple <laughs> of, uh... I'm gonna be 28 in a in a couple of hours, so <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh nice. Happy birthday, buddy. I'm thank you. Year, I'm I'm 40 I'm 42 this year. Really? Ooh. All right, Grandpa. Yeah. Well, you do not look a day older than, older than than forty. I mean, that's a lot of experience, so I guess it's it's yeah. a plus. <laughs> At least in my book, it's a plus. <laughs> but now, now that we, yeah. we revealed, uh, we we need the the rest of you guys to reveal. Okay, Tim. <laughs> oh wait, did you say like yeah, you're? Ah, oh, you're the same yeah, as the yeah, same as Sad. Okay. Magnet I was just assuming you were the youngest uh, one, I think. Like 30. Yeah. Like, Mag Magnet think? is like, what, 11, 12, something? I mean, um. Give or take. <laughs> give or take, yeah. 
I mean, I'm closer to that than I am to Feral, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, shots, are you closer dude. to 12 or 28? <laughs> uh, I think I'm right in between. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you're 20? No. Well, then 19, you're not 19. in between. <laughs> yeah, then you're not. <laughs> Oh, that shows my oh, uh, my, my just, math just development. Say it. Just I, say I, it. I need more this development. Fire pull three. <laughs> my God, let's not start with the pull three uh, references again. Be better not to start with pull three again, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you know, we need Pharaoh in in, uh, in all things Protoss team. He would he would fit right in with the pull three. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just just for the just for the stream magnet. So how old are you? Well, let me let me just ask it directly. I'm, I'm 19. I'm 19. Oh, only Pretty 19. Old. Oh my god. Oh, what what? Oh. <laughs> you haven't even changed your prefix. He still like he still likes Paw Patrol then. Yeah, uh, <laughs> probably. I, I think Paw Patrol is not for my age group. I think it's more for like your kids, which are not, which are also closer than to so me. So what? Than three you, years but... below you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, my yeah. my my age group is more along, you know, SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm not really a SpongeBob fan. I have actually, I've somehow be. Well, it's because I've been forced to watch so much Paw Patrol. I know all the Paw Patrol pups, <laughs> and uh, I had to sit and watch the Paw Patrol movie twice the other day. Uh, no, uh, we were uh, lucky to, yeah. uh, to, to not get Paw Patrol in this house. Instead, we have to go through Bluey, if you've heard of that one. The Australian uh, dog. Bluey, oh, right, yeah. See, when I grew up, we had really cool cartoons. None of this, uh, none of this crap we got now. We had, like, Ghostbusters. Uh, Batman, Teenage Mutant Next Ninja man. Turtles, all that sort of stuff. I actually caught uh, some of no, those. I didn't have... <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thomas the Tank Engine, that was all DC, good stuff. A lot of DC man. shows. The good old days. Static Shock. Pro is B tier, so yeah. Gunner. <laughs> See, what, what you guys missed out, though, because... Um, yeah, I, I watched I the TMNT we bought... from, from the 80s. Yeah, turtles. oh, it was great. Brilliant. They were they were good times. They were good times. But I remember when uh, I got into, I started to get into PC gaming um, in about ninety ninety five, and <laughs> I was playing just like. Um, yeah, but none of you were born. None of you were born then. That's um, the year I was born in. So, but I was born a year oh, after right. that. <laughs> Yeah, so I started playing, I was playing like um, uh, World of War, Warcraft, you know, Warcraft and Men and Orcs and um, stuff like that, and uh, um, Age of Empires, and it was all, I mean, thinking, oh my god, it was amazing, like, I remember showing my, my dad, like, look at the cinematic on this, and bear in mind, it was like a, a wood PC, and it was fucking terrible, <laughs> and then now. <laughs> Starcraft came out, yeah, oh. and I remember Starcraft came out, and it was when that blizzard sign came up and it went you know and yeah, i remember i, I just creamed my, my pants <laughs> oh i my honestly i just i was just like ah oh. <laughs> i couldn't believe how amazing it was on my in my room and like and then basically just spent weeks in my room playing the campaign i'm honestly i must have come out transparent or something i didn't see sunlight i must have lost about a stone i didn't eat <laughs> It was just, oh, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. I just, re I remember it and like talking to my mates at school, going, fuck, have you seen this new game? It's, it's like, it's mental. And, uh, yeah, you don't get that now as much, I don't think, with games. But I remember, and then I sort of, as I sort of grew up and StarCraft sort of went onto the, onto the, the back burner a bit. And uh, I joined the military and, and then ended up coming back and then getting married and so on and i was sat watching tv and the advert for starcraft 2 came out and i i, I think i must have screamed it scared my wife <laughs> and I, at the time i didn't have a pc i didn't have a pc at all i'd got rid of it i'd sort of put that behind me you know that was my old life and uh no, and i immediately went out and bought a pc 
look where you are now. Yeah, <laughs> and now, and now I'm, uh, yeah, and now I've got a, a, a bunch of nerds. Mm. So, um, yeah, it was, yeah, um, amazing. It's amazing what StarCraft is and what it's what it's done for so many, and uh, it is a it is an amazing game, isn't it? And you see all this new stuff out. You see, you see Stormgate coming up and Zero Space, and it's great that you have got these new RTSs coming out, and it's you know it's new and exciting. But I just think, despite all the issues that you got with Blizzard and all this sort of things and the problems you have with StarCraft at the moment, nothing can really compare to it. Yeah, yeah. true. You know. Mm -hmm. But anyway, that was my that was you my old still... that was my old grandpa ramblings. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we can move on to yeah. to starting to talk about the teams in the in the qualifier. Uh, oh, yes, yeah. yeah, we'll just let's yeah, just mention topic. let's just mention the, the platinum esports side. I think on that on that side, obviously Buanon is is an interesting uh, yeah. uh, player to to look at. Vindicta, obviously. Then we have Iba. No. I, I think those those are the three uh the three main players that I would look out for personally. Uh Buanan for the obvious reasons, and then Iba because of, he's basically a prodigy in my opinion. And Vindicta yeah. has been around for, for a lot of time and no, it's actually really, really yeah. nice. The others are also like up and comers and everything, but yeah, these I mean, are the main players. I, well, I Eggs, hate me and I, well, Eric's I, well, I think uh, can pull uh, maps here and there as well. Uh, I think you know, hate me and um, Eggs hate me and Ari's story. I think they'll oh, be yeah. able to do pretty well. I think I think X is actually the yeah, best. Yeah, Ari's story. Actually, I think X is probably the actually best player in this roster. To be honest, Surpri as surprising <laughs> as it may sound, but he is probably the the player the player he had, like he has the best results of the last year also in comparison from all of these people like he made top eight or NA twice I didn't, I, I didn't think Vindicta was competing anymore I thought he was just purely focusing on his stream and uh content creation no he has, a, he has a full time job play. now oh full time he, job so, yeah. the only reason he's able to play in WTL is because it's so early for the US yeah it's before his work so, yeah he's basically gonna wake up early and play before work yeah okay and, makes sense and, and currently he's basically always he's always streaming after work a little bit and on the weekends at some points yeah he's keeping up with his practice he's just not participating in a lot of things which yeah. is why his results look oh he doesn't really play a whole lot of it. he plays he just doesn't participate currently mm. yeah yeah Okay, let's move on to to basically the the teams in the qualifiers as we're gonna have an interesting round one. So uh, for the people on in the chat, the one with the StarCraft 2 logo and the Chinese character is actually an interesting one because that is the WTL organizers team as far as I know. Yep. So yeah. that is going to be uh consisting of they wrote in a walkover for envy is what they did <laughs> oh no. yeah yeah that's what i would say but they're, they're the diamond players i think they're yeah, yeah. So Dog, yeah. Salto, B, and Sayo are going to be the yeah. uh, the three players who are going to participate hmm. and of course club nv uh, i guess club nv is the the other team that doesn't really have to worry about uh any kind of um yeah club say, envy like, is opponents. i mean it's it's all the old boys right and it's people that we all know and well creator drg especially yeah creator yeah, drg mondo and quanta I'm but not sure about mondo and quanta uh I mean, if i just look I mean, at i would mondo, say they example. are they are basically they are part they are korean amateurs they are they are versed in three points and one mono but the but they are still Korean amateurs. Yeah, but like, I mean, four Quantus two five, five six. one still wins you the week. Yeah, Quantus five yeah. six. Quantus five 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 six which is what I see here on on SC two polls. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, and I think and I think Mondo is similar. Uh, like that. I want to quote like, something uh, here. I want to quote something. Sounds like here. food to Pharaoh. <laughs> I, I want yeah. to. Again? Uh, like yeah 
So uh, we were like saying, I... we're saying these Korean amateurs, they, uh, I don't think they hold a candle to Feral. <laughs> uh, like I, like I think like I think they will have pretty close matches versus the players on Team Rotti, but they but they could easily lose if Mondo and Quanta play. Yeah, that's but what if, I wanted to quote here. Yeah, okay. But if Creator and the G play, then I don't think Team Rotti is gonna have a chance. Erkfire is gonna have to Erkfire is gonna have to play his finest three gate robo in that case to even to <laughs> beat Creator. And I don't think that's happening. Yeah, no. that is true. And you, like, probably Fiat DRG. That, it's, uh... It's, C- it's CVZ, best. but... It's CVZ, but DRG has beaten several in CVZ. So... Yeah, DRG is built different. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Like, DRG is a crazy, a crazy good player if he, if he steps up. Um... But, yeah. So I think uh, Club and we don't really have to linger too much on it. I think they have a, a decent chance to, to qualify unless we, we've been talking about the creator effect of like being too emotional and just uh <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> Tim was basically it. Yeah, I think Tim was uh was saying that uh <laughs> he just smashes his desk to the <laughs> Yeah. What, what, what was that? He's smashing to his uh his lower neighbors. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna yeah. smash down to his neighbor's kitchen, just right through the floor if he loses. Right yeah, through the floor. Like I, I could absolutely I could absolutely see this that Club and V loses to Berserker and Creator loses in a PvP or something like that, and he smashes his <laughs> desk, his desk on webcam. I could absolutely see that happening. Oh, I I would love that. <laughs> That would be, that's a that's a fun. definite clip. That's a definite clip. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, Big Bong Exports. This is an interesting team that's full of up and comers, uh, as far as I know. I have, have always thought their name not, was not really Big Bong Exports. Like as a, like a weed joke. <laughs> <laughs> I've genuinely thought that for the longest time. <laughs> They're exporting weed. Okay, so well, okay. Yeah, well, let's be honest e-sports. here. Let's look who's on it. Akron, Anticore, Ezra Holden. They, they aren't really and... up and comers. Uh, they are they're just I mean, a team they're... of American amateurs. Yeah, kind of. You say and, that. Yeah, there's only yeah, two yeah, Americans I, on the team. I, yeah, I, I, I was going to say, like, amateurs. yeah. No, I, I mean, don't know. I would say and, that and it's only Akron and Holden who's and, uh, are and, and shiny. And Italian. Shy, shiny. 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 The, the team is primarily America based, at least in its creation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In its yeah. Creation, and then there's like... Spacey. He has Spacey Macy, who is definitely their shining the tool for the team. Yeah. 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 Anticore has a couple of nice builds. I, he's quite a cheesy yeah. player, as far as I know. Uh, yeah. Azura can, can bring some decent games. Uh, but yeah, and I, I mean, think we're against they're essentially the Chinese yeah. amateur team. PCEC? Yeah, yeah so. I think that's gonna be pretty close. Mm. I, but PCEC. I think their highest sure. ranked player is what? Maybe. I think their highest ranked player is maybe 5'7. Yeah, five, eight, is about 5'7. Five, five, yeah. Yeah, Spacey is. Yeah, 5'8. Yeah, yeah. And sure. the PCEC is also around. I think Jim is around 5'7, five, 5'8. Five, yeah. Yeah, but like Jim, as as uh, Dasad already oh. cleared that. It's like a legend, but he's yeah, yeah, most X-Pro. notable. Yeah, his most his most yeah. notable participation was like in 2016 or something. Yeah, it's a yeah, long time. You look at all these guys, and it's like, oh, what did they? What did they win? And let's see. Like, if I pull up like Xing Ming, like, all right, what? No, Xing Ming is a new player. Yeah, yeah, it's oh. just you kind of just go down the he's list. He's like five right? five. Yeah. And so I I think that I think Bing Bong beats them and I think we beat Bing Bong. Yeah, that's what I was there. thinking. Yeah, I think Vladimir Sword think has so. a has a direct path to I think Code is pretty clear beside it is pretty clear in every stage. Like it's obviously gonna be Club N V and then Berserker, Hyperberg, Platinum Esport. Um, the 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 fi- the bracket with Gozu, Red Pack and Dry D is actually pretty close to be honest. Like, yeah, I can, I can see any like I can see any team making it there. To be honest, I agree. But yeah. for once, WTL have actually seeded their bracket, and the yeah. one time, <laughs> the one time it is, there is no platinum heroes in it. <laughs> yeah, 
that, that was on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think the the lower side is basically the the most unpredictable. But there's an it interesting depends on one. who three D puts out. I think because uh, you know Reba Cuckoo have, Rom. Actually. Uh, yeah. Um, Astra V Cougar Death Mars GG Machine. For those oh, for those who are I'm wondering, probably... Brabba is actually Baby Marine, Rainer's uh, little brother. Because maybe yes. not everybody knows knows him as Brabba. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah like on three D on three D like Kauga is yeah three D whatever. Like Kauga is just gonna shit cheese in some way. Death Blast Ac Death Mars actually plays kind of solid. GG Machine is actually decent, but yeah, but he is also still very young, so he might just struggle with nerves. Yeah, and if you GG lose, GG Machine is like uh, probably one of might be the youngest player in this whole qualifier. No, he's younger yeah, than Eber. Yes, yeah, he's yeah, he was young, no, he was only fourteen. No, GG Machine is younger, but mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he's fourteen. Wait, he's fourteen. You can see from yeah. his age uh, how he doesn't GG when he loses. Yeah, <laughs> it's like being called no GG Machine. He must yeah. no, in, already. GG in the just, okay. in the academy team, we call him no GG Machine every time he loses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that's no. great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These uh, these youngsters having the attitude, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Basically, <laughs> basically, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think it's. I think the. I think the actual qualifier is besides the besides the little bracket where you have Red Tech Esports, Trade 3D, and Team Gozu. It's pretty clear who is gonna make it. Code A is gonna be interesting. Code is uh, very interesting. Yes, Code I'm very much looking forward to. I think only really one clear qualifying team. And uh, the others, honestly, can't even name a real favorite. Like, even Club and V can't really call them a real favorite because of how terrible Creator has been and how inconsistent the RG has been. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's yeah, that's true. Imagine if Team Rotti offsets uh, Club and V. That would be big, honestly. That yeah. would be so, oh, so much that, more interesting. It would be Yeah, honestly, that would be yeah, that'd be wild. It would be the best option for me if Team Roddy upsets <laughs> because we can beat Team Roddy. <laughs> Club NV is a much tougher nut to crack than Team Roddy. <laughs> That's yeah, true. like 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 I think like I think the the thing is you can beat Team NV, but the but the, the likeliness of that happening is a way that, NV. Sorry. Yeah, Club <laughs> NV. You can beat you can beat them, but it's li but it's way like it's way less likely yeah, than yeah beating Team Roddy. Team Roddy, it's all right. I think we can get them on a normal day. Team Envy is like or Club Envy is more like mm, we're gonna have to really try and hope that they screw up somewhere. Yeah, not being form and everything like that. So yeah. yeah, I can imagine that. I'd rather not roll those dice. So I mean, if Team Roddy wants to take the spot, <laughs> I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, obviously, because Team Rotti is uh, it's probably an easier team to, to go up against. And it would, I think it would be kind of like a 100% I think it would be cool to see them in there. Yeah, I think it would be cool to see Team Rotti and Team <clears throat> you know, one But team I think we can is... agree that it would be an upset over Club NV, right? Yeah, yeah. for sure. One team for that sure. has had a lot of discussion over it, over it in the last, like, few week or so but we haven't really discussed yet is offside esport yeah uh, that's uh, interesting true. rex rex uh firefly and u thermal and u thermal is yep. going to play random we've been joking here mm. that u thermal is there for content but it's kind of like an interesting factor I... to to count in the random yeah, factor. there's no other reason for him to play random than to want to make content i i, also... I can't see him doing anything serious <laughs> It might yeah. not necessarily just be random. You could play pick Terran when he wants to, you know. Yeah, I, I want to see. I want to see a six-minute Ultralisk rush. <laughs> it's just me. Yeah. I mean, playing I against Fairy Thugs play in the first War. round, yeah. it's very doable. For yeah. Him. Yeah, I mean that's not gonna matter. It, I think it's basic. Uh, uh, as I said before in the because discussion before, this is this offside is really gonna fall and gonna fall or win with Firefly. If he, he has the potential to be basically the best player in this whole tournament, in the yeah, uh, course he yeah. Has, 
But he is gonna have to speed, but some of his, uh, but Rex or Utahman have to take a map. Otherwise, it's not gonna be happen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, 2-4 mm -hmm. doesn't exactly win you the week. Yeah, you know? exactly. Uh, I, and what happened? I remember the dark off, days right? of, uh, yeah, the days of Orca, where he, where he just walked over. Yeah, Orca, yeah, the dark days. I remember that. I remember when we got killed off by, by Vindicta. God, I hated him. <laughs> <laughs> if Don't I worry, fight, it happened kill, again. If I fight I'll kill Platinum yeah. Hero three times in a row, then join Platinum yeah. Heroes. Yeah, yeah, I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> Perhaps had it. Nah, he, he was, uh, he was absolutely... Uh, he was... Yeah, he was kicking off and he was really good. Really impressive play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So I, I guess... So what... what, so what, what sorry? I was going to say, what are your thoughts on uh, GDA, GDA team? <laughs> GDA, uh, I think uh, they have... Wait, who they have? They, they have De uh, Deca. I yeah. think Deca is probably Deca. their most uh, yeah. notable player. Yeah. The other one is afraid of the, uh, of the and, second and map Ubers is gonna build yeah. cannons, but he is gonna build them way bad, way worse than Boanan. So <laughs> that's fine. I, I made sure to pick up the only good cannon rusher, so I'm, I'm fine. I think yeah. Yellow Fox is like well into the five 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 six range. Maybe I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, I think this is the match for for Sarah, for Feral. I mean, to go three zero. Yeah. <laughs> no, why, be, why do I keep coming being brought into this? Well, you keep talking about about fielding yourself, and I think uh, you know this is the you one. Should. You know this is the I match. I mentioned to, it uh... once. Okay, <laughs> I'll field myself. Ah, uh, you got this. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, I think that's a, a relatively. I don't want to say easy because obviously no disrespect to the GDA team, but I think on paper uh, this should be a straight uh, yeah. path for to code a for berserker yep. esports mm. yeah yeah I, I know bingo king has had pretty impressive ladder zvz has been regularly beating 6k zergs on ladder so maybe if if they get like bingo king against the zerg and they cheese out the other rotas or terrans maybe they can get to an ace match but i heavily doubt they can actually win the series yeah yeah, yeah I, if anything it's gonna be first map is berserker second map is gda is if they're winning anything that's how i predict it yeah like oh we lost the first map but we have a a specific build on a specific map and i'm gonna do that real quick and get a cheeky I, win I, yeah. did you make this bracket and if so and if not then who did you bribe yeah hyper got <laughs> hyper got the easiest opponent like they can feel yeah, anyone hyper in literally got <laughs> like hyper can't feel anyone in their roster and they're gonna win <laughs> these guys are hypers mmr literally I mean, no, to be fair, I mean, I mean, Sun is still got the easiest round one. Sun is 5k or I so, but, yeah. Yeah. but yeah. No 5k is, is safe from the Turex, especially the Hyper Turex. <laughs> the Hyper yeah. Turex, good old Hyper Turex, yeah. Hyper Turex. Yeah. I mean, they could, I mean, they can do the German Derby with Blood Milan versus Sun. That would actually be close. But, but nothing else is gonna be close. What, what, what is coping about what I'm saying, Mr. Gunner? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's try to leave the chat interaction towards the end so we don't actually get lost in the... In the so... In, in right, we can move on to Code Day for then. Uh, yeah, who do you think... So, who do you think is gonna take second and third slot for Code? I think first slot is a fair... We can probably all agree. But who do you think is gonna take slots two and three? I think obviously it's not going to be SSLT. I mean, <laughs> damn. I mean, if they suddenly announce that they have signed Oliveira, then who would then? Uh, are, <laughs> then... We, yeah. wait, are we talking about um, Code or Code? Yeah, yeah, we are talking yeah. about Code. Okay. I think we but... can now reference uh, Tassad's power ranking instead of the bracket. Yeah, I'm that's... surprised that. Because I know that they wanted to kick uh, Platinum Heroes out of Code S because of the roster changes. I was surprised SSLT didn't get any sort of relegation. I mean, they were in a relegation spot anyway. They they got they got kicked out. Yeah. They would. That's the Machorino got basically kicked out or basically or signed off. They they yeah. But, yeah. 
But yeah, they lost the whole roster in the off season, basically. So what can you do? Is my Liquipedia not working properly, or why can't I just see the the code no Or or do we only have? There like is two? no code oh, There, there is there's no code yeah. bracket, but it's it's gonna look the same as as last season. It's gonna be the same bracket, but just basically. It's and, and so far, we have SSL and Twisted Minds uh, or Game yeah. Code A. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. that's what I was going to Twisted Minds is you the can favorite. Open up, uh, theme you can open far. up the uh, the TLNet power, I mean the Kofi power ranking that Taz had made. Just yeah. use that for, as the reference for Code A. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, there's going to be the, the six teams joining. Okay. And uh, first three teams will qualify to Code S, obviously. So yeah, yeah so uh, if we if, if we go if we go with our predictions, I guess that we can agree that it's Club and V, Berserker, Hyperberg, uh, Platinum Esports. Who do we have as our fifth one between Gosu, 3D, and and Redback? Mm, this is. Uh, I think it would be Red. Uh, I'd say Gosu. Mm, yeah. I, I. It's gonna be Gosu versus Red Pack, and I think that comes down entirely to the lineup that Gosu fields against Red Pack. I think it's gonna. Mm. I think it's not even gonna come down to the lineup. It's gonna come down to if Cuckoo and Baby Marine finally got something. Finally, can deal with nerfs or not. To be honest. Also true. Cause yeah, cause playing a plus playing a very important match versus people like me, Micah and Reaper, and, and uh, is just gonna put you on tilt. And if you and, yeah. and both of these are not the most experienced players, and yeah, it's very easy to fall apart against these kind of players. Yeah. Hmm. No, I, I think I, 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 you don't Offside. know why you guys have already signed off 3D Clan so quickly. Yeah, I mean they, I mean they could, they could also lose against 3D, but. I, it's. I think it's possible. I find that less likely. I find, but I also think it, it's less likely. But maybe. <laughs> I mean, GG Machine has beat Hastum and he has beat Goblin before, so I wouldn't put it past him to beat Cuckoo or Baby Marine. That's true. GG Machine has popped off recently, but once yeah. again, one player can't carry a whole team. The specifically yeah, due to the true. format of WTL, which is something I do enjoy a lot about the the whole tournament. Yeah. As yeah. you said, two four doesn't win you the week. Exactly. Yeah. That's true. Hundred yeah. percent true. Well, it depends on who they manage to field and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah. I, I think whoever yeah. wins. Me personally, I'd say Red Pack. Honestly, that's just a whoever, personal feeling. Whoever wins out these isn't really like they're still gonna struggle a lot to be in competition for Codes. Yeah, they are oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah, I think it, yeah. I think it's gonna depend a lot on the on the bracket draw, in my opinion. Like whoever gets SSLT in the first round is gonna rejoice. <laughs> Actually now please, that I please, think about please. it, maybe maybe Gosu is a better pick honestly because they have uh, they have Maples, they have Mio Mica, they have Rocker. Well the thing Raper. is none of these yeah. players are, are very solid. All of them are not even close to their peak form. Mio Mike yeah. and Maple Dreeper, uh, all of them are like not even 6k level right now. Uh, yeah, that's the same. Don't you talk about Binsky like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Binsky is also there, but yeah, like, he's not Gosu... even there anymore. That's, that's the point, right? Whatever. I mean, Gosu is a Gosu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, well, well. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> no idea who that guy is. <laughs> I've seen but his anyway. name before, and that's about it. <laughs> but well, like any like any one of these three teams can make it, but it's it's an interesting part of the bracket to watch. But but whoever makes it is gonna struggle in Code S. Yeah, they, I, I don't they, think they can make it through Code A, in my opinion. Like they they lack they lack an outstanding player like like what 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 everybody else has, or they and they also don't have the even distribute quality that platinum esports has basically in my opinion yeah we don't have like a star show but we have all of our players are pretty consistent yeah we have a pretty consistent level across bad. the team yeah i think yeah. we can say that f between fairy tugs and an offside offside just goes through uh, yeah yeah not too many questions asked there 
So if we go with Club NV, uh, Berserker, Hyperberg, Platinum Esports, Offside, and I guess whichever of the three teams. Well, and we once add again, Twisted Minds. We, we update the graphic in some way, so either uh, yeah, make I your own bracket or open up a Kofi post. Oh, yeah, so Twisted Minds takes spot one. Yeah. Spot Can two. Um, that's definitely Berserker, I think. Berserker or... Mm, or Envy. Probably. I mean... Maybe. It could also... Right? Yeah. Berserker it could also be... Envy, no, Hyperberg. It, it, a lot of things can happen there. Mm. It's, yeah. it's... Yeah, yeah. I think there's... Mm. there's If we're going to make a split into tiers like we we're about to do, it's obviously tier one that's... Uh, uh, Twisted tier two, that's Berserker, Envy, and Hyperberg. Uh, and then the next year would be Platinum Esports offside, right? And yeah. lastly, yeah. We'll, in, in a tier of their own, would be SSLT and uh, Red Pack or whoever makes hey, it. Yeah. Hey guys, sorry, oh, sorry guys, I'm gonna need to uh, drop off the. Uh, Got to deal with my no, kids again, unfortunately. All right. No problem. Thank um, you for hanging out. All right. Thank you for hanging no, out. no, it's been great. Thanks a lot. It's quite, it's quite, quite. Uh, uh interesting listening to because you guys know so much about it mo so much more than me it's quite um quite impressive really um because yeah no, i don't know anything I know nothing. <laughs> Any... <laughs> yeah uh but no it's been really it's been really good so um thanks a lot i'm gonna deal with the kids and have another uh, another rum so uh catch you guys Great later i'll watch i'll watch the stream all day all right. within within a rum maybe right. make the quits quite down a bit yeah <laughs> Cheers, guys. Well, what you're supposed to do when you're, um, what they used to do back in the day is if your kid is teething, they would just take a rag, soak it in rum, and put it in your mouth, and that'll quiet you up real quick. Oh, my. my God. Yeah, all my kids are the rag. Now. <laughs> hey, I turned out fine. <laughs> you turned out fine? Okay. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> See you later. See ya. <laughs> I, think, I think we can get third or fourth with Platinum Esports. I, I think that yeah, we can, I think it's if possible. we really show up, I think we got this. I think basically, I think it's gonna, it's if you have a little bit of bracket luck and if you get one upset, it's very possible. Yeah. Move us over to basically, uh, I opened up these, these with the players and I'm going to also move over to the code A one. So in Code we we have who do we have on SSLT actually? Uh, they don't have a, a lineup announced yeah. yet, but I think I think yeah how uh Tutming, um, Su Silky and Sakura and, and some Sakia, other guy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, names that I yeah. To be honest, they don't ring a bell. The struggles to be above five k. They, they don't really ring a bell to me. So CSL level lineup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, Silky, Silky is okay if he plays actively. Tootming is just gonna abuse uh, abuse Zerg Jesus and be done with it. Yeah. Probably so. Also, I so, don't yeah. think, can we like make a bracket? Uh. I don't think we can like predict. Is, is the bracket gonna be randomized when all the teams join? Code yeah. A? Okay. So no. can... Yeah, probably. Well, technically... Let's be honest here. It'll be random. <laughs> yeah. It will be random. It, it, no, it's no random is the wrong term. The right term is seated in quotation marks. Yeah. Oh, seated yeah, seated in quotation. Marks. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That actually. That actually they sounds looked at what was uh, worse for Platinum I mean, um, Heroes. I mean, they, How can we make it worse for them? <laughs> they, are, they are just going to draw it live, basically, again, which is which is kind of exciting, but it's, it's still, I would prefer if they would actually see this, but what works, that works, yeah. I guess. Yeah, that's true. I mean... <sighs> I'm just glad Twisted Minds got seated in the code A. Because that and the qualities would not be fun for anyone. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's it's mostly because yeah. we'd have to play against them, knowing my luck. <laughs> yeah, it would have not been fun, but it would also, but otherwise, but still, if you have like, I think, I think it's, I think you kind of have to do, do double elimination then uh, if you have so many teams advance. Otherwise, it's really not fair. But yeah. yeah. Well, at least like, we don't need the Liquipedia page anymore for every player. 
<laughs> to get rid of yeah. that. Yeah, like that's it, true. It's kind of it's kind of like when when on site or basilisk played in the qualifiers. It was also basically a. I don't know why just yeah. why just not give them a code S spot. They're just gonna walk through anyway. <laughs> yeah. Best goes to the qualifiers was hilarious. He was like, oh hey, look, we got these up and coming 5k players. Oh, you're against Rainer today. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. I mean the the thing with oh, onside yeah. when they when they actually played at the time they play, when they when it was all cool, they like they actually they they nearly lost to us. That back then that was kind of yeah. funny. But yeah. Okay, okay, I'm so we can do a bit of uh, power rankings now that we gone through the bracket. Like who do we think have good chances to, to go through in in code S? Just like you know, uh in theory. We don't know the bracket, that's that's the biggest issue, but obviously we we kinda see the teams that yeah that go through I see. in the qualifiers yeah. so we know we add ssl the twisted minds and yeah, yeah and i think yeah. we can kind of say who who goes through i think club nv would be a huge question mark depending on how the players perform yeah mm -hmm. i think it's hard to have a hot take here when we all have no, that's knowledge. what we have. That that's what we have. Hot takes. <laughs> we give, don't give uh, your hot takes. Take. Red Pack Academy's gonna beat Hyperberg. <laughs> I I, say, I think I think your terminal rolling is rolling or not rolling a certain race is gonna make or break a run. And Imagine rolling yeah, Terran and bomb clouding. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, it would be so funny. I mean. I think I'm gonna be right on that one. That you your terminal rolling or not rolling a certain race is gonna is gonna decide if Firefly plays in Codes. I'm, if I'm they lose sure to Fairy Thugs because you thermal rolls like Zerg twice and fails, I would honestly <laughs> I would... cry. You know, Firefly had a. Very I don't think good... it's possible, like in general. But like, could you imagine? Yeah. Firefly had a very good chance at being, you know, directly in code S with very good players, but he decided not to for reasons still unknown to man. Yeah, I don't get it, but well, it's... I, I, you know, I've been thinking about this, this, this uh, project I don't for a while this. now, and I do not, I still don't understand it. Uh, yeah, I, I don't get, I don't get, I don't get why he is not on the same roster as, as, we, as, uh, as Mao, Sola, and Ryang. Like, if they would just rotate him with Ryang every second game, I could totally see that as a fourth player. No, he, he's definitely, he's honestly more valuable as a regular season player than Ryang. Ryang is more of a sniper player. Yeah, like, I yeah. could, I would have totally seen that if they, if they put him in Cortez straight up. But this, this doesn't really make sense. I don't know why you pick him up for that, but he's also he's good enough to qualify for the for the World Cup at the end, and he's not gonna give vitality points at this rate, mm. which is also very weird. But I don't know. Yeah. Also, Maybe, speaking of yeah, that actually is a very interesting because if he does qualify for the World World Cup and he's so he somehow manages to get top eight, does Vitality try and claim him? <laughs> Or yeah. is offside the subsidiary of onside, which is yeah, um, it was more of a partnership than a subsidiary. Of yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine if they have to run into that, that could because be you know Gemini said keep him in my team. Yeah, that's gonna be complicated. <laughs> but once again, he had much better opportunities elsewhere. Yeah, but well, it, I don't know. It's his choice, but yeah. I don't think. Yeah, we, it is very odd. Yeah. Okay, so just with Metrino dropping, thing. there's an extra slot in the code S. What? Which makes it a little bit more interesting. What's happening? So Metrino forfeited his spot, and that means there's, there's going to be three qualifiers. qualifiers. Yeah, 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 that's what, been, what we've been talking about. Yeah, yeah I know, I'm just saying that, that makes it a little bit more interesting this season. I'm pointing it out now that we've gotten to code S. Yeah, I mean, that was already known beforehand, otherwise, but it was the... It was, so, it was what I was basically thinking was always going to happen because as soon as Eric Fire yeah. and Astrea left, there was no match arena to be there. So obviously our favorite teams that we would like to see in Codes, obviously it would be uh, 
Hyper, Hyper one, Hyperberg, and uh, Platinum Esports says, you know, yes. the more Platinum Heroes in inclined. Could you imagine Twisted Mind, uh, Platinum Esports, and Hyperberg? <laughs> is the three that yeah. Oh, that would be actually epic, ahead. honestly. That would I be think epic. it would be pretty interesting, but Fel would not be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> no. So many things would have to go wrong for Berserker for that to happen. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. I Berserker mean, and other themes. And I mean, other, yeah, really other teams as well, yeah. I mean, it, really depends on the, it really depends on the brackets. Like, I, I can absolutely see that that you just that you somehow make third place to the loser's bracket by, or something like that, or you get SSLT in the first round, and then you have a, yeah. and then you and then you upset someone in the semis, and then you are in, because that's yeah. how it goes. Because it, that's really, how it can go. It, yeah, it's really, uh, yeah, just everybody we below is not safe at all yeah yeah there's yeah. so much there's a lot of volatility realistically like we've been talking about right if it always, MV, if... they could they could hit or miss like offside could hit or miss go to i think it's like twinkle were that. dropping out no starlight twinkle is not dropping out but, uh, starlight Let's... twinkle still has chum wayne and a bunch of chinese academy players like they have they have rewired they have we White and Young Zest are probably the most known people, but yeah. they are def but they are definitely seriously weakened by a nice leaving. Like they lost their third, so they lost their they lost maybe the strongest player kind of. I don't know. They are no. everyone. Everyone in their team is very inconsistent. Even Wayne is very inconsistent. But yeah, I think, I think Wayne, Wayne is going to be the it. carry, and they're also Chen. Chen. not saying much. Just see yeah, if Wayne is I a. A chance recent result <laughs> but yeah if i had to make a power ranking in code s it's pro it's definitely it's probably always on site at first place and then we are and then we have liquid and then we have basilisk this is like the top three who are always gonna fight for the title in my opinion and then and then there's the and then there's shopify who's probably gonna make playoffs guaranteed yeah, Let's see um, who is guaranteed in playoffs. I think Liquid, obviously. Uh, yeah. Basis, Liquid, DKZ, Shopify. And downside, yeah. that's the six that are basically guaranteed. And then we have one spot in contention, which would be Platinum Heroes, Twisted Minds. These are basically the two teams that will be good. And I guess Mystery may, might bring something along, but Mystery doesn't Sy have. System could don't... also, System could oh, also yeah, make true. it if Gerald has a good season. If Gerald has a good season, yeah. then they can make it. I'm mm -hmm. um, just looking at the mystery gaming team. Oh. We have Coffee, Cyan, and Strange. Oriana, Strange. Oh. Nana, 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 Kingslayer. Yeah, they don't have anybody anymore, basically. Yeah, just and, not, yeah. it's just and Coffee also, and Cyan. Yeah, yeah the, also the Bunny Classic uh, Shin lineup mm. was actually much, much better, obviously. Yeah, and also DKZ yeah. got seriously hit by lo by losing uh, uh, by losing Dark, in my opinion, because Yishi is a lot weaker and Hero is very inconsistent. Oh yeah, yeah I've been wondering like, like, in the beginning of the season what were they replacing Dark with? Like if there's if there's no alliance of any kind for them, I think they 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 might lose quite a lot of points if Hero doesn't perform. Like if Hero is the weakest. It's very possible that he loses some PVPs that he just doesn't lose. Like I can, I can absolutely see Hero losing games to almost anyone in the PVP, and I can also see yeah. him beating beating anyone. Like for him, the sky is the limit, and also the ground is very reachable. Basically, <laughs> I think yeah. Hero is stronger than you imagine. Like he's probably, like, you know, it's kind of ironic that Hero, the most volatile player, uh, is probably his most consistent in the most volatile matchup PVP. Yeah, yeah. I think against Fair. anybody but Max Pax, Hero is you're gonna have a very hard time taking important maps off of him. Like even, yeah. even earlier today, he three O's classic in the Stars War qualifier. Yeah, but then last season he lost against Hastem, he lost against Goblin. I, like uh... right, but these were these weren't important matches, right? Hmm. It's a, it's a WTL <laughs> match for your team. It's what you. It's why I don't yeah. know. It, it's kind of important. <laughs> it, it is different this I, season because they said they will be awarding a uh, cash prize like a hundred dollars for every match won, like every series won. 
Like if a if hero, you know, instead of drawing one one to Harsim, if he wins Suo, he gets a hundred dollars, just basically half an ESL yeah. cup, which is about like I guess yeah. an yeah, ESL cup is, is four hours work. It's like two hours work for him. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's much it's, better if you can win nowadays, like with this new prize setup. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I can absolutely see that DKZ is gonna struggle a little bit with that. But and otherwise, I think they're, they're, they're always playoffs. It's too hard to say they're not going to make playoffs. Yeah. Uh, I think it, yeah. the playoffs is going to be, you know, a, a, a three-sided war between Platinum Heroes, Suicide, and uh, uh, Psy Storm. And maybe if Clem falls off again, then it'll be a four-sided war for two spots. Uh, uh, I, I think the problem is that Cure is all playing all season, and I, I can't see that. Right, they have Cure yeah. now. I, I... I forgot about that, but also Kira has not been good for them since he's joined. Yes, but, but yeah, he, he's also he's, 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 he's still good winner. enough. He, he's yeah, still good, good enough. enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I like, he's good enough. Not good. Kira is still pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not good. Kira is still pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think when he joined, actually, didn't he actually get a really hard matches at the start? Let me, like, when when Kira joined, he he spent like. Like uh, in it, like pretty much the every tournament he played in until like I am Kadavitsa, he was pretty much losing everything. Like he lost yeah. in GSL group stage for the first time in like five years when he first joined Team Liquid. Imagine the, <laughs> yeah. the pressure of performing on the new team, stuff like that. Or maybe it's just like you know it happens, coincidences happen, and then it just yeah. Yeah. Happens, there's, there's so. obviously a bit of both yeah. new team. Yeah, I mean, when he joined, he when he joined, he first went one-one against Harstam, which I guess is below expectations, mm. and and then he uh, was, and then he uh, then he two-zero ty, yeah, mm. that always should happen, mm. and then and then they lost against DKZ, where he lost two-zero against Dark, which is no shame. Then he it is won a shame. His 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 level is equivalent to Dark, so he should be looking for a one-one or a two-zero, right? I guess yeah. maybe, but it, it happens. And then he went went two zero well, against Three Wyatt. Yeah. I, when I don't you know. compare his tournament results as well from before and then after joining, Team Liquid basically his only standout result is uh, I am Kadavitsa. Yeah, I guess. Right. But but even still he is now, way... even now for Cure, like uh yeah, like even now losing uh, in the Stars World qualifier. Put this on the screen, yeah. Uh, to classic and, and to stats as well. Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah. Honestly, I guess stats. to returning stats is like, uh, well, I love even stats. was the last yeah. time Cure won the thing is, Yeah, stats are surprisingly fast back. Like at IEM, he looked surprisingly, he looked really weak uh, mm -hmm. for yeah. stats, and then he and then he suddenly dominated his GSL group like out of nowhere. Yeah. So, like, if like if if Stats is in the form we, how he plays now in GSL and in the Star Wars qualifier, then he is pretty good. But if the Stats from IEM or before shows up, then then I wouldn't really put too much into him as having him as a player. But I he is not. He, but yeah, I think Stats is practicing really hard. I think he'll uh, he'll definitely keep form. You know who I had a uh, missed out on a very lucrative deal with. Before he joined Team Ooh. Liquid, it was Cure. Really, he was he was in a, a bit of a tough spot after being, you know, with the community kind of run, but not really run, but not really real team, but kind of real team, Team NV yeah. for a while. It was yeah. a bit of a yeah. it was a bit of a tough time to be in Team Team NV around this last year or two of existence, which I guess technically is not even decided anymore because of it's back now in this qualifier but what i'm trying to say is he had a tough time at team mv he was kind of desperate to join a pro team afterwards right and uh, he had yeah. such a good offer to join twisted minds but unfortunately back then it wasn't quite known if the ewc would host starcraft so yeah it wasn't yeah. quite as lucrative as it might seem on the outside yeah why am i talking right. downwards i keep That's forgetting about a podcast happens look it's, it's into okay. your camera <laughs> didn't you weren't you the one giving it's us like a camera challenge <laughs> yeah uh, it's, it's okay i think 
I think it's probably a big part of it is I'm also, I have like three lights directed at me. I'm not sure why I went for a lighting setup. Oh, it's actually, yeah, it, I mean, it looks, yeah, my light it looks on. more professional. Yeah, my, looks mine more looks like the, 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 yeah, it, it looks <laughs> the worst probably because <laughs> I have, uh, I have basically yeah. the, the blue bla uh, background for the main scene and everything. So that actually <laughs> turns into blue. I like how plain your, yeah. your background is. It's just one shirt being hanged, nothing else hanged. Yeah, that's how, how do you only it. have one thing hanged? But that's that's only like it, you know. Did it's, you it's have like a, like a light the... infection or something? So <laughs> no. you, so like you burnt all your clothes? Nope, that's like a, a single one. Like that that's basically there's two <laughs> shirts hanging over it, there. He but only like, owns one shirt. <laughs> and there's two shirts. The, the rest of them are are tucked into the wardrobe. So <laughs> that's that's basically me being lazy and you know just hanging them there because I I use them quite often. So that, oh my god, I'm outside in my room, so you don't see them. Yeah. But to get back to the topic of the of the code S ranking, I yeah. think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be quite an interesting season and there's quite a lot of chan of chances that the up, upsets may happen. And even though the the general field seems to have gotten weaker in players, I mm -hmm. think it's still gonna be a very interesting to watch. So currently since we're in kind of kind of an off season we can't truly know what the form will be nearing playoffs time uh, yeah. but yeah if we're doing you know an on paper uh current form and everything ranking you That's know we, we do right i think this time uh on set they do not have the solar zvz juju they do not have uh yeah. a clam to all kill basilisk for them so yeah, this might be Bass's best shot at the thing the is fight. several 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 by in, in playoffs come around several in military. Oh yeah, so that's yeah. true. Yeah. So he is not is. so he is not gonna have that much practice as he had before I am Katowice. So he is probably not gonna be in the in the form like I I'm gonna destroy you no matter no matter oh. who you are. All right, but the we, question we don't, is, we don't quite is know. Sterile, still better than everybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe maybe <laughs> maybe. We will uh, see. We will see. Probably yeah. not in the eyes of a team a team liquid from net writer. I didn't expect that this is gonna be I didn't expect that this podcast is gonna get here. <laughs> I'm more <laughs> interested that, uh... in what Rainer will look like because Rainer's been a little inconsistent recently. Yeah, that's also yeah. true. I'm very curious of what he's actually going to look like when it comes down, like when they actually start playing, and he has to really get back. Did you into see it, his you know? I am Katowice video? I I didn't I didn't watch it yet. Um, I haven't watched it yet. I, did not. I, think, uh, I think I saw uh, it. I I saw it, and he, he talked about a couple of things. Hmm. He, he was just practicing thing, really hard for it, and the main thing was that he said that he has really <laughs> high highs and really low lows. I think that's the main takeaway of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's a consistently like like besides like IEM 2020, he's never really been, you know, going into a world championship event and struggling this much, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's and true. he's and this is his most yeah. mature form, right? And he had yeah. plenty of months of practice at his grandma's. It was a very unusual result. Yeah, you know, uh, random fact that you uh, you guys probably heard, but he only finished high school last year. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah. Right before I mean, I'm, heading out for yeah. Gamers Eight, too. I mean, I'm not he surprised. Was he, high school tests. Yeah, I mean, I'm not surprised he took breaks in between to focus on C2. That makes a lot of sense yeah. in his position. But yeah. But yeah, with Reyna, I think he's taking this very serious. Like he's also going to Korea to find to make to try to win the last GSL that there's gonna be. So yeah. he was, so like hey, I, so maybe he's me too. Being serious. We're going to be competing with, with Rainer for that final GSL. <laughs> well, oh, I mean, if the field doesn't change very much, you might end up, you might find yourself in the finals against him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I have to fight, imagine I have to fight the GOAT. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Rainer lost in the finals to Magnus? What? <laughs> Breaking news! <laughs> Rainer really is washed. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding though. I might, I might be in Korea for the next GSL. Do it. Who's well, why not? Me? Why not? As, as, Mousy, as are, you, viewer... are you gonna come and wear a rat-themed shirt or a mouse? 
theme theme shirt. Sorry. You gonna join me in Korea? Oh yeah, of course. I'm going on a Korean trip with Magnum. I Imagine. hope you're not as blue in person. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm not as blue. I'm, blue, I'm bluer. There we go. He's <laughs> more blue, in fact. Actually, there, uh, there we go. I'm, not, go I'm not as blue no, anymore because no I, I lowered the... I minimized the, the window. OBS, but yeah. <laughs> the, li the life of a, a podcast but host. Yeah. Podcast host. <laughs> or wannabe podcast yeah. host, I guess. Well, I think it's time to wrap it up. Yeah, I, I think so yeah. too. All right, so yeah. uh, if there's anybody in the chat who would like to address a question to our guests, or any ending thoughts, or any ending thoughts. Well, we already had a good comment <laughs> from from Hyper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <lose> red, <laughs> like Academy, I would die. Who says a, an American viewer, a concerned American viewer? <laughs> yes, sir, oh, man. Okay, Mr. When, when will Magnus make pool two? Our <laughs> guest Mr. is Concerned asking. Our guest. Okay. <laughs> uh, I think I think pool three is more of a way of life than a MMR bracket. No, yeah. MMR bracket. True. true. So Very I don't true. think I think once or the, you're the pool once pool a pool three, three always a pool three. Uh, <laughs> And hopefully once, you can win once GSL, I'm a millionaire still a full three. <laughs> yeah, once I'm a millionaire from winning the uh, GOAT competition or, or GSL, I will make a I will own a house with three pools. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, then play Circa from all three at once. Wait, wait, wait. Are you allowed to use Korean money in your country? <laughs> Why You're not allowed to use, to use Korean kind of well, will the Terrans in my team actually study the new maps? Is is no. Hyper asking? Hmm. Well, I got an easy answer for you. If you if you say if you tell Special that you're not gonna pay his salary if he doesn't win maps, then he is gonna study. Well, I'm pretty sure. That's, <laughs> that's true. Okay, that pack check true. <laughs> but okay. that's actually true. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah. And who's the Terrans? Actually, work. That probably works. If he doesn't get paid, he doesn't. And like, if he doesn't make VTL, he is not getting paid. Problem solved. I mean, hard mono <laughs> and special. I mean, what, I mean, hard, mo hard I mean, mono mono just gonna, study. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna proxy in a random yeah. place anyway. Like yeah. easy. <laughs> you don't need to study the maps. Graf what? Graf made it all the way to the finals of CSL yesterday, and he's like, yeah, "I've never looked at these maps before." <laughs> Let's put the cannon <laughs> here and the cannon in there. The and done. <laughs> yeah. Cannon here, cannon there. There we go. We solved the issues. Yeah. Yes. Gunner's aware oh. of how that went. <laughs> was he the other? Was, was the, was the other doses. one in the finals? Yeah. No, he was inexorable. Oh. Inexorable, or known as inexorable. Yeah. Okay, who who uh, is more base, Sun Tzu or Artosis? Magnet. They're uh, they asking you specifically. Well, here, here's the thing, right? Most people look at Artosis for who he truly is, but Sun Tzu is like the most overrated person in the history of people. He might be, you know, more overrated than Judas, you know. So, uh, <laughs> Sun Tzu. Yeah. Okay. So you big see, big down vote for Sun Tzu. How to weapon and... like. Pra the thing praise Arthosis. Uh, praise, praise our Lord <laughs> and Savior Arthosis. Arthosis. looked at a bunch of idiots with a lot of money and went, how do I make money off of you? And he figured out what TTS was. <laughs> and now Arthosis is rich. <laughs> well, I Arthosis think he was rich anyway, goat. but yeah. Well, yes. I mean, you know, you're not, you don't get to be the only caster who's allowed to fly first class to any event you go to. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. Uh, mm. yeah, you know, uh, when I was when I was in Gamers Eight with uh with uh when when I took out a bunch of the casters for for lunch one time, so we had Tasteless and, and Roddy and a few others. Yeah. Uh, so so basically, we we had this big feast since this is more of the uh, local style. And mm -hmm. in the, in the yeah. end, you know, Tasteless he said he already had lunch at at uh in in the hotel, so. After having you know two people's worth of food and during the the food the uh, the night that he says he's full now you know he can't take anymore. 
so we 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 bunch up the the leftovers and since Artosis was meant to come but he couldn't come because he was uh d down with a with a cold yeah. uh we got the leftovers and sent them with stasis to Artosis. so in yeah. the end we I, I didn't get the you know we, we would order smoothies to have next to the food and then get our doses smoothie until the end so we wouldn't you know get too warm too soon yeah uh, so I, I get our doses at the end and I, I give it to, to taste this was just a gesture you know not without exchanging words and this is is, is is like yeah thanks and everything and this is like a like a liter smoothie and this is after <laughs> yeah. he has eaten a big meal at the hotel and then like two people's worth of meal at, at this dinner oh my god he just oh, chucks no. the entire smoothie <laughs> as if I brought it for him <laughs> a fucking liter smoothie there. Oh, <laughs> it was no. oh, oh, oh my god. No. After he was like, I'm so full, man. I'm so full. You know that gesture he does on, on GSL? I'm so full, oh. man. Oh, oh I love this. <laughs> Tasteless. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, what are your endless. thoughts on zero space? Uh, big zero. Right there's two zeros. Two zeros. Double, yeah, double yeah, yeah. zero on zero space. Honestly, I, I like zero space. Yeah, I do too. I, 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 I like two I race to games more though. I, I, I think two race games are better, like Protoss versus Terrancraft. <laughs> Protoss versus Terrancraft. Oh, you mean the latter? <laughs> yep. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see what's the third race in Stormgate. That, that is actually maybe interesting. Who knows? Yeah, tier three, yeah. obviously. Because yeah. honestly, from it's what about I a month tried, from now. it's disappointing to play Stormgate, at least in my opinion. Warcraft 2 is the most based game. Okay. <laughs> that, that's a hot take. That's a hot take. True. That's where Smurfing started, by the way. With Papa Smurf and Smurfette. Because they were too good and nobody wanted to play with them. Because back then, that's true. believe it or not, there was no matchmaking. Imagine. What? <laughs> or are you talking like esports history or something? No, I'm talking yeah. about like gaming history. Gaming, like literally there so were two Smurfing players started in Warcraft 2? Yeah, like literally there was two players yeah. who actually had to disguise themselves because they knew uh, they were known to be so good that nobody wanted to play with them. Oh. They were playing oh, like 2v2s and stuff. So and I, I was I always wondered what, what a small blue man had to do with hiding your MMR. So it's it's like I that that's the story behind it. They were called Papa Smurf and Smurfette. So <laughs> I, I guess it's stuck. Also, what most people don't get about smurfing is uh, smurfing is not equal like, uh, you know, barcodes or, or playing under different aliases. Like, uh, smurfing can be obviously the, the toxic version where you play below your MMR and just destroy people. But also, smurfing can be counted as, for example, a pro player playing on a barcode to actually hide builds from his. Uh, yeah. His potential opponents so i think people know this they just choose to ignore it when using the terminology yeah that's also true, true. yeah it's also a right. coping mechanism nowadays yeah right. <laughs> it's like uh, it's, definitely uh, a well, if everyone didn't smurf i wouldn't need to cope yeah. nearly as much yeah we, we totally don't have any people coping in, in about smurfing in, in, in platinum heroes nobody complaining about people with fifty thousand games in a specific league or or finishes in, in Grandmaster in 2011 or anything. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no, nope, never. Never. <laughs> uh, all right. So, all right. any more final thoughts since his thoughts weren't final enough? Yeah. If, if you gentlemen have any anything to add, hopefully we any, all had a good any time. Any parting words, any zest words? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! All right, ban this man. Ban him. <laughs> I I see what Get him you out of here. <laughs> yeah, you cannot ban here. from a Discord call. It's not the server. It sounds like you're not trying hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lazy, honestly. <laughs> uh, here, zero or brood war hero? Who's better? Well, I think. Who the fuck he, is here, zero? He I think he means Liquid Hero, the good, the very old. No, no, no. That, that's capital, capital Hero. That's Capital, capital H. Yeah. is like an old, undocumented Brood War Hero. Lowercase H and lowercase O, that's the Brood War Zerg Hero. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah. Oh, okay, Here, okay. Zero, okay. Is, zero is not zero. a thing. Zero. 
Oh, wait, how many heroes are there, right? He Hero there's, there's, with capital there's, there's H and three o. pro players. Hero with That's, capital yeah, right. H and capital O is uh, Liquid Hero. Team Liquid. Yeah. And then there's the DKZ yeah. hero with the capital O. And yeah. there's lowercase everything hero. That's the Brood War Zerg hero. And there was... Uh, Isn't it up, that like, low, like uppercase O as well? I wonder no. now that I think no. about it. No, there, and then there I'm is... pretty sure there is one with an uppercase zero too. Hang on. I have the Brood yeah, War. I no. feel like I well, saw what that the fuck in is ASL? an uppercase zero? Not zero, like a, a O. 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 I mean, upper upper well, I, th I think you yeah. guys should figure that out, and I think I should go and head out, all right? Yeah. <laughs> well, no, no, we, we part, part I think together, that should agree okay. with me. I mean, that question, that question yeah. is gonna, it's, it's, it's as dumb as art versus art. <laughs> yeah. Uh, DKZ hero, because he's still around, okay? He's close. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, I did not realize <laughs> that Protoss was still around. <laughs> Imagine the savior of Protoss returns, invents a new build, and then just becomes well, he, pretty much the he best kinda, he kind of was mediocre for like an entire year before anything but yeah <laughs> well, well, and all of a sudden he just started dominating uh, it happens i don't know i just want zest back yeah same mm -hmm. all right well all right. that's all for me okay that's we've that's had all a for, very nice from... podcast i hope i hope this vod is saved <laughs> forever so i can uh, look back in, yeah, in two years be... and and say what what a what a twink i mean <laughs> i mean it will be on you it will be on youtube gym, bro. it will be on youtube but, but uh yeah. probably so yeah yeah it will be on youtube i'll i'll just pretty much uh see to it and, and most likely get a you guys have encouraged me to stay hydrated because moment. because i'm talking so much yeah True. Let's uh, let's hydrate yeah. once for for the world yeah. and make sure. Energy. Wait, what's what's the main chemical composition of beer? So it's stuck at like instead of saying hydrate, it's something eight, but it's alcoholate. <laughs> I don't know. Alcoholize. Alcoholize. Yeah. I don't All know. Right. Well. Anyways, GGs. yeah. All thank right. you so thank much you. for being here. We're going to oh, hyper is playing. Okay. Um, playing what? I don't know if he's playing or not, but we're raiding Hyper. Yeah, sure. Mm. Okay, so thank you so much for being here, everybody. Thank you so much to our guests, uh, even Feral as well. Uh, we actually lost him for a moment, but it is yeah, what it is. Hey, the box is still up here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. Uh, the VOD is going to be hopefully uploaded in a couple of hours, I, I hope. And it's gonna go live <laughs> tomorrow. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll see you, or at least I will see you tomorrow for some WTL qualifier matches. If I manage to to find them and uh, all that stuff. It's not tomorrow. It's on the it's on the third of April. Oh, okay. So it's, yeah, on, it's on third. The third. Okay. So they they literally changed it. Nice. Yeah, then yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna April make it. Fools? Yeah, I was born on April Fool's. So, yeah. oh, then tomorrow I can actually. Nice. I can actually just have a birthday stream. But yay. Yes. I need to prepare for that. All right. We're, we're out. All right. Peace. See y'all. See y'all.